Shalom Israel. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, the honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. And today's lesson is going to go into um, being overwhelmed. You know, and um, I primarily want to go into the book of Psalms, the 61st chapter. All right. Um, and, you know, the book of Psalms is so prevalent, especially for us who actually follow the Lord. Because King David was always at war. And to defeat, you know, even one of the warriors of you know great warriors of all time and you know it's just a common theme is that or really just a basic understanding of war is to conquer your enemies you have to first conquer yourself and we see that through king david you know to where he had to have ultimate faith that the lord was going to get him through and being that he was constantly at war and the Lord constantly got him through. This is, you know, these psalms or these songs were his testimonies. Okay. So this is the book of Psalms. Chapter. <laughs> psalms chapter 61. Verse 1. You know, we can constantly, we can relate because we're constantly at war, you know, constantly, <laughs> you know, constantly at war with your own thoughts, you know, when you go to sleep, when you wake up, it's just always, you know, it's, it's something, it's always something, you know, so this is Psalm 61 and 1, which I want to read it in uh, English, I want to break it down, then I'm going to read it. In the Hebrew, to the chief musician upon Neganah, a psalm of David, hear my cry, O God, attend unto my prayer. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. And this proves that David knew that in the end of days, he's going to be on this side of the earth. This is considered the end of the earth. You know, this is the western part of the world. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee when my heart is overwhelmed. This word overwhelmed meaning is turned aside to envelope oneself. You know, it's feeble, faint, grow weak. You know, when something is enveloped within itself, it's, it's you know, it's um basically you stuck in your own thoughts. To show feebleness. Okay. So it says from the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the rock. That is higher than I. Okay. So that's important because. Within ourselves. You know you would just. You within yourself. Would just drown in your sorrows. But this is why. We go into a rock that's higher than us. All right, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, for that strength. Okay, for the words of encouragement, for the might. So it says, from the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Okay, so when my heart is faint, lead me to the strength. All right. Which who is our rock? Our rock is the Lord. Okay. To prove that, this is Deuteronomy chapter 32. Verse 3, because I will publish the name of Yahweh, 
Ascribe ye greatness unto our power. He is the rock. His work is perfect. For all his ways are judgment, a God of truth, and without iniquity, just and right is he. Okay. Just back at Psalms 61 and... Three, I start back at two. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee when my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I, for thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. Okay? And a shelter is a place of refuge from rain or storm from danger. That's right. Like, you know, I was thinking about it. You know, when you go into your house, you can control the climate. You know, if it's too cold, you could turn the heat on. You know, if it's too loud, you could turn the music or the TV down. You know, light some incense, you know. Um, you know, light some incense for the smell. All right, close the blinds if it's too, you know, if it's too too much light, you want to dim the lights. All right, so within a shelter, it's more of a, a calm, controlled environment. You know? So it says, for thou has been a shelter for me. And a strong tower from the enemy. You know, and this is why we always push to stay within the scriptures. Okay, because the scriptures, the scriptures as, as it is written, you know, the things that are written in full time are written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. All right, so these scriptures give us comfort, they give us peace. Yahweh Shai told us, let's grab that, John chapter 14. Verse uh, 25, these things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you, but the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, or the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, okay, because when Yahweh was on the scene, he was fighting our battles for us. But now that he went away, you know, he left with us his words, you know, his words that, that basically give us strength. Whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Whatsoever I have said unto you, peace I leave with you. Okay. And, you know, he didn't leave us a multitude of shekels, but he left us something more and more precious. You know, something to fortify our minds. All right. His word. And that word peace going into a state of national tranquility, exemption from the wage, from the rage and havoc of war. OK. Peace between individuals, harmony, concord, security, safety, prosperity. OK. So his tabernacle is his shelter with an evolution inevitably be his words okay peace I leave with you my peace I give unto you not as the world giveth give I unto you alright not temporal but everlasting let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid okay so let not your heart be agitated to cause one inward. All right. Going back into the word. Um, overwhelmed. Let not your heart be overwhelmed. Okay. So it says, for thou has been a shelter for me. And a strong tower from the enemy. 
I will abide in thy tabernacle forever. I will trust in the covert of thy wings, Salah. For thou, O God, has heard my vows, that has given me the heritage of those that fear thy name. Okay? And ultimately, the heritage of those that fear thy name is everlasting salvation. No matter what situation, you know, you're going to be in, eventually the Lord is going to come through. You know, I was thinking about the one, um, there's a precept in Sirach. Is that one in 29? No, uh, 1 in 23. A patient man will tear for a time. Okay, and that word tear basically meaning, um, it's an, it's a, it's an aggressive uh, action. You know, so basically a patient man, he's going to catch up, you know, um, our plight is to wait upon Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, as it's written of in 2 Corinthians 10 and 4, that our warfare is not carnal. All right? So not to have, you know, the false hope that this world gives you, you know, YOLO, you know, I can get it, I can, I can get it done. We know Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai gets it done for us. So it says, a patient man will tear for a time. And afterward, joy shall spring up unto him. You see? So we waiting for the afterwards. You know, we waiting for the Lord to come back and save us. All right. This is the book of Psalms. Chapter 29. Verse 11, Yahweh will give strength unto his people. Yahweh will bless his people with peace. Okay. And he did that with Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai gave us the peace. He gave us his word. All right. And he gave us the understanding of his word. You know, and it's really a blessing when we go into these words and, you know, you, you out there in camp or just, you know, on your day to day, going into the scriptures and actually understanding what it says, that's that's, you know, a lot of people don't understand. A lot of people don't, and they won't. Okay. This is the book of uh, hey, what was I? Um, Just trying to find this other preset. Is uh, yeah, I can't find it right now, but it talks about um, let me see, joy cometh in the morning. And that's why we so gun ho too, and uh, 
ushering the return of Yahweh Shai because he's our joy. You know, our battles will definitely be won at the appearance of Yahweh Shai, just as, you know, they were, we didn't have to, we didn't have a care for him when he was on the scene. You know, and even though it's going to be harsh, you know, it's going to be scary. We know we have an eternity of peace waiting for us. Okay, an eternity of tranquility. All right. And Yahweh Shah said in first, first Corinthians 15, that the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. All right. He said that through the mouth of the apostle Paul. Okay, death first and foremost in these bodies, and then also under the man of sin. Psalms 30 and 5, for his anger endureth but a moment, and his favor is life, weep, and his favor is life. Okay, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Okay, morning break of day, who represents the break of day, okay, when the sun come up, is Yahweh Shai. The scriptures call him the day star. All right, what is the day star? The sun, the sun. Okay. So now, this is a... Uh, the prayer in the Hebrew. And I also, you know, wrote a small prayer for myself. So uh, as you see, it says Shammai, Allah Hayyam. And, um, you know, it's good to sing it too. So prayer for being overwhelmed. Psalms 61 and 1. Shammai, Allah Hayyam. Ranafya Hakwasha Yaba Tha Palafya Ma Kwatiza Ha Aratiza Awiyaka Ha Kwawra Ba Aita Labya Ba Tazawam Ya Rawam Ma Manya Tha Nakhanya Kaya, hiya ya, ma kasa, la ya, ma gado, ais ma panya, awaya. And it says, um, as you see, this is the quick prayer. I said it. You know, I wrote down as well. Look, um, ra nanaya. Wa Aimaoya, Wa Renafia, Wa Khawasha, La Hatazona Ya, Bab Kusha, Bab Kusha, Bab Kusha, the water to Wab. Tazawaya, Wa Ga Alaya. You know, so with that, Lord willing, you are you edified, Shalom to the elect.